I'm joined here by Eamon from Preo, or Prio, if you're English. Um, and uh, you guys, well, you do glue application systems. Uh, t tell me more about that. There's a wide range of glue dispensing systems. They're used mainly in the packaging industry, but we also do a lot of work with the automotive, woodworking, various product assembly applications. The kit that we've got here today is mainly aimed at packaging market and um, the demonstration that we've set up here for the visitors is demonstrating an adhesive stitch pattern. Within most of the packaging you'll see there are heavy beads of glue to help bond the packaging together. Yeah. But typically we find the volume of adhesive that's been applied is uh, much higher than it needs to be. Therefore, you could apply a stitch pattern, make significant cost savings through the adhesive usage. And glue isn't cheap, is it? No, and Adhesive costs are only going to rise. Talking to adhesive manufacturers, we are expecting more price increases along the way anytime soon, maybe up, up to 10%. And if you've got a high speed packing line, your adhesive spend will be significant. And with this piece of kit where we're stitching the glue, we can actually save 50, 60%. We've got a number of installations with some blue chip companies already up and running. And um, it's a fairly simple installation onto existing machinery, existing production lines, and uh, we've, we've had great success with it. People that have bought into it have come back for more. Well, you've got a demonstration here of the accuracy of your adhesive application systems. Um, I was watching this a moment ago. It was uh, quite fun. So, uh, Eamon, uh, talk us through it. Well, this is an electrically operated adhesive valve. It's switching at a very high frequency, and we're applying small dots of adhesive. The reason we've set it up in this configuration just for the show is so that we can demonstrate the repeatability of the adhesive application. Once the robotic units finish the cycle, we'll then repeat the cycle over and over and what you'll actually see is that glue dots build up one on top of the other to form a little tower and it's uh, a fairly simple way of demonstrating the, the repeatability of the process. There we go, so that is the first layer. Um, should we do it again? Here we go. Now, when I first saw this, you'll forgive me for saying, goodness me, that's a little bit like a 3D printer, of which I have seen many in the past. Um, and obviously, it isn't a 3D printer, but the principle is very much the same. But of course, it's about the illustrating how accurate your dispensing is with this technology. That's right. There's a whole host of uh, different types of adhesive valves for different applications. But for the packaging industry, we think that this method really should um, become much more prominent in the years to come. That's With it being an electrically operated valve, there are very few uh, moving parts to wear. The, re the re reliability of the electric valves is fantastic. Traditionally, you'll see pneumatically operated valves in the packaging industry. Um, and if you switch them at high frequency, the wear rate becomes an issue, whereas the electric valves will last hundreds of millions of cycles without any maintenance. How many layers have you gone up on one of these before? Well, just on this little test rig, I think we've gone to about eight or nine layers. Oh, wow, okay. But, um, yeah, it's, it, uh, it does help demonstrate the, uh, the repeatability of it. Terrific. So, uh, obviously, you've got a product here that can help save some of your customers a good chunk of money. Um, and how have you been, a, how has the PPMA show helped you to, I guess, get that message out there? Well, what we found, um, not just people that were directly visiting the PPMA, we've got Interplast next door as well. So we've had some uh, people coming across from that show that were also interested in using adhesives to laminate various products together. But the PPMA show, has, um, we've actually had quite a number of new, potential new customers come and talk to us, which is great. There's been a lot of networking with new and old contacts, which is always helpful. Um, my primary goal really is to find potential new customers and I'm glad to say we've got some good inquiries in the book this week. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, now, just very quick bit of history about, about Preo. Been around for, gosh, almost, almost 80 years or so now. Um, and, and Italian, but they didn't start, off in the, uh, didn't start off in this sector, did they? No, Preo started in the 1930s as a precision engineering company. Um, they were doing a lot of work for the auto, um, automotive and um, aircraft industry. As time went on, their engineering expertise switched to manufacturing com uh, precision components for valves and so on, which eventually led them into producing their own full range of adhesive systems. And now they solely concentrate on manufacturing adhesive systems, but they have got their own 
full workshops with CNC lathes, milling machines, and it's quite impressive when you go and visit the factory. They're very proud of their engineering background and expertise, and I think it shines through in the equipment that they produce. The quality of it's excellent. I found it um, a great little company to work for. It's still family owned, so that it's now on the third generation of the Preo family running the, uh, running the company, and, the, and they've been a great partner for us. And you guys, based in Warrington, and you've got some good facilities there as well. Yes, we're in Warrington, Cheshire. So what we found is that um, helping customers to prove that they, they've got the right adhesive running through the right applicator system is difficult because it's hard when you've got a busy production line finding time to try new adhesives or try new methods because there's very little slack in their process time. So they can come to our facility where we've set up a whole range of different demonstration systems uh, where we can spray, uh, slot coat, bead, and then they can see how the equipment will work, then they can take away the products and show them to their colleagues and really understand what we can do for them without interrupting their normal production processes and get away from the distractions of the office for a few hours Whereas when we tend to try and demonstrate equipment on the customer's site, there's constant distractions, the busy people, and uh, it's difficult to break into the production process too. Sure, sure. Well, listen, good stuff, Eamon. Thank you so much indeed for showing us around this. Um, am I allowed to press the green button again and uh, go for layer four, I think we're at right now? There we are. Eamon, thanks again. <laughs>